This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hey, good morning, brethren. Once again, we are gathered to study the Word, the book of Revelation, and we will be in chapter 2, verses 12 through 17 today. This is the letter to the church at Pergamos, or the message, if you will. Uh, so far, we've gone through Ephesus, and... Uh, gone through Smyrna, and in both messages there was a warning of sorts, and then uh, in one, in uh, the church to uh, Ephesus, there was an absolute warning that said, hey, if you don't fix this, we got problems. Smyrna didn't get that same kind of warning, but we've got uh, another warning right here, and this is going to be to Pergamos. So, To the angel at the church of Pergamos, write, This is what comes from the mouth of the one who has the two-edged sharp sword. I know your works, how you live in the center of Satan's power, yet remain true to me. You have never denied me, not even when they killed Antipas in front of you, or my martyr. But... There are still some problems we need to address before we can move forward. Among you are the followers of Balaam, who taught Balak to eat things sacrificed to idols, to practice fornication, and became a stumbling block and a false witness to the Jews. And you also have Nicolaitans, who I also hate. So I want you to repent and return to what you know to be right, or I will come and I will fight against you. Let all who hear this understand, those who overcome will be given holy manna to eat, and each one will be given a small white stone, and on that white stone will be a secret name known only to him and to the one who gave it to him. Everyone who, who can hear, let them hear. <clears throat> okay, so what are we talking about here? <clears throat> there are some problems, and apparently these are problems that have to do with a difference of interpretation, and this is being a, uh, and by the way, Paul does address this later, and of course the Nicolaitans, the priesthood. We talked about that uh, on uh, the church with Ephesus. Getting on to the ones who uh, practice the uh, Balaam, what this is, excuse me, is a misinterpretation of the liberty against kosher law. Now, okay, without going into a long, deep discussion, when you hear the term kosher, this is from kashrut, which means that wherever the deli is they are for the, or you know wherever that source is they are following the laws put forth in the book of leviticus concerning diet of the jews what you can eat what you can't eat when you eat what combination of foods uh for instance did you know that you cannot have any two dairy products at the same table uh in a jewish meal okay people a lot of people don't know that Ham, of course, is a forbidden food. There's many, uh, many other things that happen in kosher law, and that when somebody says something is kosher, a piece of meat, a piece of fish, these things are kosher, um, this is what you they mean by it. Balaam has misinterpreted the freedom of saying, well, we, don't no, we no longer have to practice that because we've been freed from that, we've been freed from the law by Christ's death. That doesn't mean that you go out and you deliberately create a stumbling block. You've been told not to steal, not to worship other gods, not to practice um, fornication. You don't commit adultery. And fornication is in there, single or not. You don't go out and practice that lifestyle if you're a Christian. It's just how that goes. 
the people of Balaam, who are you know teaching Balak, they're saying that it's okay because it doesn't matter what this food is. It doesn't matter where they came, where it came from. But if when somebody sees you eating it, it presents to them a confusion of your faith, of your dedication to Christ, then it ruins your witness. And if it ruins your witness, what good are you? I mean, you can't go out there and eat that food and then tell these people, well, it's okay, because Christ said it was okay. And they sit there and go, well, okay, fine, then we'll just eat the food to sacrifice and we'll participate in the rituals, which included orgies. Okay, this is why the Spirit is speaking to these folks, to the folks of Pergamos, saying, hey, you can't do this. <laughs> and obviously the uh, Nicolaitans, <laughs> if they get paid enough, they're looking the other way. So <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's going on with them. But it's a priesthood, and we already discussed what Christ feels about, about priesthoods. <sighs> So there we are. We'll be on to the next church tomorrow, or about Monday. Between now and then, consider this. I'm going to give you these lessons, these daily studies in the Bible. I want you to remember that this is a supplement, not a replacement. <coughs> Don't take my word for it. Go look. Make sure you understand what's being said. Question me if you want. Please put a comment down saying, but what about? Be more than happy to address it. I am not putting myself up here as the only authority. There are many. This is what I believe this to mean. This is what I believe this interpretation says. This is taking it from the King James Elizabethan English into the modern world. And saying to you, this is what this says. That's my interpretation of what it says. That doesn't mean for you to take my word carte blanche. No, no. What this means is that you should be studying along. You should be reading along. You should be interpreting. And taking the time to let the Holy Spirit interpret to you. Amen. Jesus, we thank you for this time, this time we are gathered. We thank you for all the many gifts you have given us, including the loving praise and the loving mercy that you have given us through your sacrifice on the cross, how your blood covers our sins, and how your Holy Spirit lives within us to help us to face each and every day in this living witnesses to you. Help us, Lord, to be those witnesses that you would have us be. Help us, Lord, to have you in our eyes when we look at others. Help us, Lord, to love without condition, to forgive without limitation, and to judge no one. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray these things. Amen. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, as always, if this has been a blessing, we could use your support. At the end of the video, there are three ways to contact me. YouTube, Facebook, and uh, on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and um, Twitter. Okay? Contact me. Send me a message. Send me a notification on Twitter. I will get it. And when I do, give me a way to contact you, and I will get back with you and find out exactly what we can do as far as helping us. Well, thank you so much for your wonderful day, for this beautiful day. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine This little light of mine I'm going to let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine